the first thing we need to do is to turn off Find My for the iPad. So to do this, we want to open the settings application. Now you want to click on your name at the very top left hand corner, and then you want to click on Find My. Now you want to make sure Find My has been turned off. Once we've turned off Find My, we now need to sign out of our Apple ID. So to do this, we, again, we want to open the settings application. Again, you want to click on your name in the top left hand corner. Now you want to scroll down the right hand side menu and you want to click on sign out at the bottom. Here it's going to prompt you if you want to keep a copy of your data on this iPad. So you want to make sure all of this has been deselected and once you're ready, you want to click on sign out. And again, sign out. And then it's going to proceed to remove your iCloud account from the iPad. Now we've removed our Apple ID, the final thing we need to do is to factory reset the iPad itself. So to do this, again, we first need to open the settings application. Now you want to make sure you're on general in the left hand side menu. Now you want to scroll all the way down to general and you want to find where it says transfer or reset iPad and tap on that. Now you want to click on erase all content and settings. And here it's going to give you a list of all of the content that's going to be erased from the iPad. Here it only shares apps and data because we've successfully signed out of our Apple ID. However, you may see other data listed here. So once you're ready, you want to click on continue and then you want to click on Erase iPad. You then need to enter in the passcode. And once we've done this, the iPad is going to immediately erase all settings and data and it's going to reset to factory settings. And this can take a few minutes, so you just want to wait for the process to complete. And once the iPad has been factory reset, you now see this hello screen where you can go ahead and set up your iPad again, just as you normally would. And again, this is going to set up the iPad as if it's brand new. So you can safely pass this on to the next owner where they can go ahead and set up and add their Apple account to the new iPad.